Hello, I'm William Bates. I'm talking about being mindful. When we've got a lot going on in life, it's easy to let our anxieties and concerns trap us. We then lose touch with the world around us and perhaps we lose touch with ourselves as well. If we're out for a walk by a lake, we're mindful when we relax into the moments, noticing the ducks and the bird song. And that's good for our well-being. But if we scarcely notice the lake, if our mind's full of what we've got to do next, and if that's where we're at a lot of the time, it can't be good. And telling ourselves off doesn't work. It just adds to our burdens. So is there a way out of being constantly anxious that allows us to be kind to ourselves? One possibility is mindfulness meditation. For some, meditation speaks of religion and that can be a bit off-putting for some folk. And there are Buddhist, Christian and secular versions of mindfulness. But if we're wary of signing up to a course or a practice that might run against our beliefs and values, there are options. And if we find a source of teaching that looks right for us, checking out the background of the organisation that offers that teaching is only sensible. Keeping our mind in the present can be difficult. Our bodies in the present, but our mind may brood on past hurts or worry about the future. Mindfulness meditation helps us shift our thinking to appreciate what we're doing here and now. What about the effects of mindfulness? Meditation isn't always appropriate. I mean, if you feel distraught and unable to cope, meditation could prove unpleasant. But generally, it reduces stress and anxiety. It doesn't get rid of them. It makes us more aware of our feelings so we can handle them in a calmer way. And that helps us enjoy life and cope with difficulties and connect with others and engage with what we're doing. So how can we be more mindful? I've mentioned courses. But we can try it informally by noticing what our senses are telling us. Eating an apple mindfully, we notice its colour and taste and crunchiness. We're not just using it to fill a hole, we're enjoying it. When I did Pilates, I learned to be more aware of my body and my posture, and I helped sort out my aches and pains. Often we have to multitask, but having things in our day we enjoy helps us keep perspective. Doing one thing while focusing on another isn't ideal, and it certainly isn't ideal if we, you know, while we're doing one thing, we're actually chuntering to ourselves about what a colleague said yesterday, or maybe running through over and over what we want to say at next week's meeting. Being mindful helps us focus on the task of the moment. That way we get more from it, both for ourselves and for others. So that's it from me. I, I know I haven't done mindfulness justice, but if I've given the impression it's worth considering, that's a start. Farewell and God bless.